guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys saw the title, I'm going to be showing you guys for the first time how I film my TikTok videos. A lot of you guys have requested for me to do this on my TikTok and also on my other socials. If you guys are new here, I mainly post POV acting videos on here and also on my other socials. All of my TikTok videos are posted on here with my YouTube shorts and also with my reels on Instagram. For today's video, I'm going to be acting the role of a singer and I'm going to be using the song in the name of love. I also included a little bit of like a chit chat in the beginning of the video, so I hope you guys enjoy that as well. And let's just get started. Okay guys, I am almost done with my makeup. I still have to add my eyelashes on and I wanted to show you guys the eyelashes that I always use. These ones are from Cydia. These are the dramatic ones. If you guys don't know, Cydia is very similar to Daiso, which is a dollar shop here in Japan. This one though, I add a lot of mascara on top of it and I clump them up using a tweezer if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyelashes. Definitely let me know. I use this mascara on top of these eyelashes and I use a tweezer and I clump them together. I like these spiky eyelash look. This one is the Mile High Club mascara. I don't really know if this is good for regular eyelashes because I only put them on top of false eyelashes. I'm going to... I can't talk. I'm going to be using these pre-made... Oh my god. These are pre-made eyelashes that I already have and I've used these ones like probably more than 10 times already. They're still last day. So I'm going to be adding these on with my eyelash glue and there is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about and that is when I first started doing my makeup. I would search up makeup tutorials and I would also look at these girls on my TikTok for you page. They were really beautiful and I recreated their makeup because I thought that I thought it would look as good as they were or something like that. And I remember whenever I did, I feel insecure. Like I thought, you know, like why did it look so good on them but then why did it look so bad on me? I felt like, okay, well maybe I'm just ugly then. Then I realized after a while later, I realized that it's not about me, it's just that the makeup look didn't suit my face. I feel like when starting off with makeup, I feel like it's important to know your facial features and what looks good on you. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna try on these eyelashes right now. Finally, these are on. I always struggle with eyelashes. I can't get them on well. I finally feel a lot more confident and better about myself knowing that this is what looks good on me. Trust me, everyone's so beautiful and I just feel like it's just about finding what looks good on you. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm gonna just add this on and I'm also going to get ready as well. I still have to straighten my hair. Okay, I finally got my eyelashes on. I'm going to get ready now. I'm gonna show you guys the whole look. Show you guys the whole look for today so for today i went with like a blue star look for the accessories i put on this moon and star earring on one side and then this chain one on the other this choker the star necklace from dior this top is from cider and also the brown top that i wore earlier is also from cider so i will link them both below and as you guys can see i added on these blue hair extensions to match my top guys here is my finished filming setup i have two lights over here and in the middle i have my tripod but you can see me hello <laughs> side i have my ring light this is from amazon my tripod is from amazon as well this is actually my main light and this was my dad's but he actually gave this to me for filming this is my chair and obviously my led light also if there are any of you guys who wanted to start a tiktok account or any account in general you guys do not have to have these filming tools to start creating really good videos i remember back then i would literally use my lamp as lighting and it looked really good recently when my tripod broke i propped my phone against my speaker and that worked as well. I wanted to mention that just in case if any of you guys want to start posting videos, definitely start posting them now. And now in my filming setup, I got my microphone and also my LED lights remote controller. Right now, this is something that I actually figure out while I film, but I figure out what I want to do with my LED lights. If you guys didn't know, I like to do these crazy flashing lights in my videos. Usually throughout the video, I like to switch the colors. Obviously, when I film, I have to be looking straight into the camera and I switch the LED lights without looking at the remote controller. I've gotten used to it at this point, but I remember in the beginning I struggled with it a lot. For this video though, I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm going to be doing the flash for the whole entire video. These two will be the main lights for today's video. I'm going to create the lighting effects with these two lights. I'm going to put you guys a little farther away so that I can show you guys the whole thing. Before we continue, headphone users be aware the next couple of minutes can get a little loud. Okay, bye guys.
a while later. It's already 10 15 p.m. I just had dinner and I also cleaned my room. I wanted to show you guys the drop videos that I got for this video. I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a lot of drop videos here. I always just find the best video out of all of these, which is very confusing. So I always ask my mom to help me out to choose the best video. And obviously, I post that video on TikTok. For editing, I always edit on the TikTok app. TikTok app. <laughs> and for the effects, I do really like the bling filter. That's pretty much the only effect that I usually use for my videos. For filters, I like to use the brew filter whenever I film my videos and then the island filter for when I edit my videos. Filming usually takes me around like an hour and a half to two hours, sometimes even three to four hours. Recently, I feel like it's been taking me a little bit longer. It really depends on the sound. I just find it sometimes harder to do certain sounds and then other ones. Recently, my posting schedule has changed, so I have a lot more time to edit, and I usually just edit the next day. Now, I'm just probably going to go to bed now because I'm very tired. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.